been victory lane a couple of times with that 74 car. Josh Hallbrook in the number three has been to victory lane this year. Here they come and it turns three and four. Nice and easy. Green flag coming out. 17 pure stops taking three. And looks like 17 cars will go through one and two. Here we go to turn number three. Right now, oh, flag out in front of it. Spinning in turn four is Jack Hammer. He'll stay on the gas and try to get back out on the track. And we will stay under green. Good move there by Jack Hammer. Now we got a couple of cars together down here. Turns one and two. Yellow flag coming out. Green flag coming out one more time. 16 cars as they take the green. Now going into turn number one and two. On the restart, and it's going to be Ladd in the lead. Here comes Lampy down to the bottom side. Bell up on the top side. Store to go with the number 29. Off turn two, they're side by side okay, for the, the lead. The three cars battling for the number three spot. Staying under green's been a problem. Here they come off turn number four. Somehow 
Lad starting to pull away, but some good battles going on back in the pack. Good battle for second right now between Bias and Jack Hammer. Hammer and Bias hooked up in a good battle for the number two spot. Josh Hallbrook in the number four spot. Bell rounds out your top five. Here comes Hall, a little bit of contact with the 74 car this time, and he goes around. Caution coming out. This time it's the 74 going around. Again here. Tough break for the 74 of Derek Lampy as he gets the spin down in turn number four. Josh Hallbrook getting the jump on the start there. He's going to try to take that spot away from Jack Hammer. And we got a battle for the lead as they come through three and four. Bias down the bottom side of Lab as they come off the corner. Just biased by half a car lead. The 74 making a late race charge now as Lad tries to hold him off. They head off down the back stretch. And in turn number three, they go. Lad trying to rally back on the high side. Bias has got him cross over down to the bottom. Bias seeing the white flag. That means one more time around. We'll settle it. Good battle going on for third. Down the back stretch they go into turn number three for the final time. Here they come off turn four. Bias down on the bottom of the speedway. He'll take the win. Ladd finishes up in second. Jack Hammer third. Hallbrook fourth. And Matt Darnell finishes up in fifth. And what a good battle there with our pure stocks. Took a little while to get her done. But the top two cars, top three and four, door to door all the way there at the end. Here we go off turn number four. Green ready to come out. Cars stacking up back in the back. We'll see. Everybody gets away. We are. Off turn number two down the back stretch. It's Mickey Burwood. Here comes Jackie Dalton looking up on the top side. Travis Smith looking low. Off turn number four, it's going to be Jackie Dalton with the lead. Smith and Colonel Gilmore for the second spot. Your 2013 track champion out in front. He's got about a car length lead over Mickey Burrow. Travis Smith now working down on the bottom. Here comes Rory Bryant up on the top side. Mitch Keeter working the bottom. He'll move up to the number four spot. Three wide racing through the pack. In front, it's Jackie Dalton leading the way. He's got a single car length over Mickey Burrow.
after a spin all by himself down here in turns three and four. Here they come off turn number four. Rex Merritt bringing him into the start finish line. Green flag going in the air. They're piling it up a little bit down here in three. Everybody keeps it straight. There's a lot of cars making contact on that restart. Cars bouncing off one another in the middle of the pack. Meanwhile, we are three. And Rex Merritt picks up to a pretty decent little lead as he goes into turn number one. J.C. Morton working up on the top side. It's Rex Merritt working down on the bottom. John Yolman Jr. also working top side. Ryan Stacy down on the bottom in fourth. safety's sake. Ten down, two to go. All right, here we go. Coming off turn number four, Rex Merritt leads him in nice and smooth green in the air. For us, the course in the 49 cars move this way in the middle of the pack now. And the cars race back to the stretch in turn number three. Top two working down on the bottom of the speedway. Third place car, John Gilman Jr. up on the top side.
a white flag this time by for Mr. Modified Rex Merrick. Car moving up to the field is at 49 and Rusty Forrest. He is now up to the top five. He's going to run out of time. Battle for the number two spot. Final time in the three and four. It's going to be Rex Merrick picking up the win. The battle is going to be for second. It's going to go to J.C. Morton, John Gilman Jr. in third. Sean Williams, fourth, and Rusty Forrest. Rex Merritt, the 25 machine, picking up the win here in the reliable Chevrolet B Modifieds. Midwest Modifieds in the staging area will roll out next and wind up the Larry Phillips Memorial for 2013. the 27 car to maybe go back to the pit area. Indeed he does. Out on the racetrack though it's Ryan Gilmore leading the pack. Through turn one and two. Nathan Gold running side by side with James Reedus. Now three, four cars battle for number four, five spot. Nathan Gold down on the bottom of the side of the speedway trying to make his way around James Reedus. He'll get it done. Move Nathan Gold into the third spot. They stack them up over in turn number one. Well, I tell you what, the track a little bit dicey tonight. Sure slick because we've seen some of our veteran drivers lose it going down into these corners. We saw it again right there. Taylor Moore losing it going down into turns one and two. Gary Krebs, nowhere to go. Got the car sideways rather than making contact with the front end. Looked like it was going to be not too bad of a deal. And then here comes Elijah Keeper, nowhere to go. He also spins it sideways, but makes some pretty good contact. Good to see Gary Krebs back on the racetrack in that number 26 car. Cars on the gas, here they come. Speedway, and now Joey Wiles getting in this mix. And the 8X car off the pace in the back of the pack. We'll see if that car can get to the infield. We'll definitely slow on the front stretch. I believe that's a right rear tire down on the number 8X car. He'll head back to the pit area. Out on the racetrack, Ryan Gilmore still leads Wesley Smith. Joey Wiles now up to that number four spot as the 8X goes to the pits area. Nathan Gold working down on the bottom of the speedway. Wesley Smith working up high. They're both trying to chase down the leader, Ryan Gilmore, who's got a half a straightaway lead over both of them. And Ken Walker looking pretty racy as well. He's running in that number six spot working the top side. He wants in the top five. Reedus has that fifth position. Ken Walker trying to take it away. Good battle back in the pack for about seventh on back as they continue to run two wide through turns three and four. And on the three and four, good battle going on back in the pack. Here comes Taylor Moore on the inside of Grand Graves. Three wide for a moment. Brian Gilmore continues to set a blistering pace. Wesley Smith has now cleared the 40, cleared the number eight machine rather of Nathan Gold. But still some good racing back in the pack up front, mostly single wide. Working the lap car, the number nine of fifth and sixth place cars making their way around. As Taylor Moore finally clears a big traffic jam in the back of the pack. Racetrack into the infield now rejoins the race. We stay under the green flag. Elijah Keeper all 
also one of those cars trying to regroup and get back to the front after that spin a few laps ago. Good three car battle back there for the number seven spot. Elisha Keeper going to that spot over 10 to more. Lord, they have a problem. Gilmore continues to pull away from this field in that number 66 machine. And he's going to catch the tail end of the field very shortly here as he continues to set this kind of pace. And now a spin from Randy Oss down in turn number four. The spinner and caution coming out for the number nine car. Great for our track champion. Here we go, coming off turn number four, green in the air. Good side-by-side -side battle back there for the number five spot. Nathan Gold losing a couple of spots now as they go to turn three and four. They're three wide. Good hard racing back in the pack. And how about Elijah Keeper after going all the way to the tailback after that spin and now more trouble. It turns. One and two, caution is out, and it looks like they're going to come to the checkered flag, and it will be Ryan Gilmore, Wesley Smith, and Joey Wiles, your top three. James Reed is spinning over in turn number two. Krebs up on the top of turn one. Ken Walker going for a ride over in turns one and two. A lot of craziness right there on that previous lap. All oh, that's going on, it's going to be Ryan Gilmore taking it to victory lane. 66 been the car to beat all night long, but he proves it once again here in the feature events. He takes it to uh, the victory lane. Once again, race fans, thank you all for being here tonight. We hope you've enjoyed the Larry Phillips Memorial. Some great racing action tonight. And be sure and join us. October 15th and 16th, we'll do a two-night deal, the Route 66 Showdown, Friday, Saturday night. Again, check us out on Facebook, the Springfield Raceway, also springfieldraceway.com, and also check us out on independence.com.